This is for your level width. This comes out of 18C question number two. The curve of the equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, these three unknowns, passes through the point 0, negative 1, and has a stationary point at 2, negative 9. Find a, find b, find c. Um, there are three unknowns. I need three pieces of information, and I'll be using simultaneous equations. And I'm actually going to use the simultaneous equations here, but I'm going to, sorry, that's not simultaneous equations. Go back up to math one. I'm going to use the simultaneous equations here, but I'm going to have three unknowns. Okay, what are my three pieces of information? Because I know it passes through there, then I know that f of 0 equals negative 1. And since it goes through there, I know that f of 2 equals negative 9. And since it has a stationary point at this point, f dash of 2 equals 0, because the derivative will give me the gradient, and if it's a stationary point at this point, when x equals 2, the gradient equals 0. So they're my three pieces of information. Okay, so what I'd like to do is come over here, get rid of that for the moment, and I'd like to define my function. So I've got ax squared plus bx plus c. Execute to make sure that a, b, and c are all okay, and I'm going to go interactive and I'm going to define. And I know my first piece of information is f of 0 equals negative 1. And I'm actually told c equals negative 1. I also know that f of 2 equals negative 9. And that gives me equation number 2. And I know that if I take the derivative of this with respect to x, I get that expression. Then if I take that, I need to make it equal to 0. Math 3, given x equals 2. And that's what this piece here is. And when I go execute, that gives me my third. So now I'm going to get my simultaneous equations. And I'm going to touch it twice to get three. I'll get rid of my keyboard. This is my first equation. This is my second equation. And this is my third equation. Three equations in terms of A, B, and C. And I'm going to use my calculator to solve that for A, comma, B, comma, C. And that gives me my three values for A, B, and C, which is A equals 2, B equals negative 8, and C equals negative 1. Now, just to show you something a little bit nice, in my simultaneous equations, I actually don't even need to express it in these terms. I can enter in my simultaneous equations f of 0 equals negative 1, f of 2 equals negative 9, and d dx of f of x equals 0 given x equals 2, and solve that for a, b, and c, and I'll get the same answer. So just to prove that, I go to Math 1 and get my simultaneous equations and maybe get rid of my keyboard. I know that f of 0 equals negative 1 is my first one. f of 2 equals negative 9 is my next one. And f dash equals 0 given 
x equals 2. And if I take all of that, copy, paste, and solve it for A, B, and C. I get the same answers. Done.